Hello there, my name is Karen, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the history of coach handbags um, and also talk you through the features of a vintage bag from my own collection because I really love coach, I've suddenly got really into the brand. Um, have a look back at my review of a coach prairie, a contemporary bag if you want to have a look at, at that but today it's all about the vintage bags um, but first a little bit about the history. Coach started in 1941 in Manhattan. Um, it was just a small goods, leather goods company. Um, and then they started developing and producing handbags. And they had a designer called Bonnie Cashin, who introduced a lot of the features that we still know today and that we see on the brand today. Now, one of these features is this, this lock here. This is the turn lock. Now, this lock, Bonnie um, actually included because it reminded her of the um, attachment on the hood of her convertible, the thing that kind of attached the, the roof of the car to the body. Um, isn't that amazing? I had no idea until quite recently that that's the history of that feature. And that was in 1962 that was introduced. Um, and also you would have a tag on your coach bag. I don't have one sadly on this one, I wish I did, but all coach bags today have them. Um, it's a great feature, it's on a little bobble chain to match your hardware and it is simply a leather swatch and that's how it started, a little swatch of the leather of your particular bag and it will normally have coach written on it as well so that's another good way to tell if your bag is authentic or of course they can be faked. So that's the history of that, they came in in 1958 so they've been around a very very long time on the bags. Now the leather is something that really makes a vintage coach bag special. Just have a look at that. It's shiny, it's soft, yet it's very, very resilient and very, very long lasting. And this vintage leather was inspired by a baseball glove. Unbelievable. A baseball glove, it's kind of soft, it's well worn, it gets better with age. And that's what they were trying to achieve with this leather. So the leather is actually glove tanned in these old bags. It's calf skin and um, it's, it's full grain leather and you can actually see all the imperfections, the natural imperfections. They're not polished out. That's what gives it its character. And also it does mean if your bag gets a little bit scratched as this one has, it's not a big deal because it's all part of that lovely lived in look. The bags are really designed just to get better and better with age the more and more you wear them. So that's another great reason to buy vintage if you can. Um, now on this you'll see the tabbed flap. This was introduced in 1969. It's a good year, 1969. I won't say why. Um, <laughs> it's because I was born in 1969, no other reason. But uh, there we go, that is the tabbed flap. Um, so that's a really easy way of accessing the bag. It's just a sort of super easy bag to use. Um, great capacity in it as well. This one is actually the Rambler, I think. So that's the design of it. Um, it was just designed to be a, a quite a nice, simple handbag, um, quite capacious. You can put lots in it. Doesn't have a pocket at the back here. Um, does have one at the front here, as you can see. And I'll just take out the um, stuffing I've got in there just to give it a bit of shape. And you can see that the inside is raw suede. That's another thing that you will find on a vintage bag. It's raw suede. It's not lined at all. And in this one, you can see I've got a very simple zipped pocket here just for security with a little simple zipper pull there, which is very, um, very coach. And then inside you can get a glimpse of the story patch or creed. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a minute. So that's your vintage Rambler. It's just a wonderful bag. It's just your archetypal handbag. I think if you asked a child to draw a handbag, they would draw that bag. So anyway, the Creed inside, what I was telling you about, I won't try and show you because it'd be very hard to see it, but have a look online for some um, examples. Um, basically that can really help you date your bag. Um, now my one um, has got some serial numbers in that don't really mean anything in those days. They do now, but back then um, when I think this bag was made, um, they don't actually really mean a great deal. 
but um, in the 1970s you had um, three numbers followed by four numbers and that's what I have in this bag and in the 80s it became four numbers followed by three numbers so that gives you an idea um, of the age of the bag. Um, modern coach bags the serial number indicates factory, year of manufacture, month of manufacture and also the model number but um, these ones sadly don't tell us uh, that amount of information. Now what's written in this bag helps me to date it again. Um, I'm going to read it out. Um, it's, it's, the, it's the creed which was developed in the 1970s which basically tells you about the bag um, and it gives you again a, an extra level of authenticity of it. So it says coach leatherware underneath which again dates the bag to sort of 70s 80s and this is what it says. This is a coach bag it is made out of a completely natural glove tanned cowhide. The scars, scratches, veins and wrinkles are natural markings, characteristic of full grain leather. And then it says made in New York City, USA, which I love because, again, that dates it in particular to the 70s, I think. Um, and so the, the made in USA bags are, are really sought after because that's the kind of the real glory days of the coach vintage period where they were still being made in the original um, little factory in New York City itself. So um, I don't know if it's actually the first ever original factory, but certainly um, before they started um, manufacturing overseas. So there we go, that's it, that's the Coach Rambler. I picked this one up from a place called um, Pick and Weigh It in Covent Garden, London. Um, they've got a lot of uh, coach bags, as does Rocket and a few of the other outlets. Um, so you can often pick um, these vintage bags up from uh, specialist vintage stores and this was £44. Um, you can get them on Etsy usually for a lot more and on eBay and um, I think if you're in America you'll probably be going that's a lot of money because I bet uh, I bet uh, you can pick these up a lot cheaper over there but um, here in the UK not so easy to find but if you do like your vintage shopping you are eventually bound to find a coach vintage bag of some description. Anyway, I hope that's been of use to you. Um, any questions, do put them at the bottom of the video, do comment and I will try to answer them. Please like this video, please share this video and please do subscribe to me here on Cool Menopause and I'll be back again soon with some more videos. Until then, take care. Bye.